<laughs> hey, I'm Grimes, and I'm gonna walk you through my skincare routine and a sort of a psychedelic makeup look that I do. First step, I usually wash my face. Cool, and then I usually use like a mist. After I hydrate mist, I usually use this Korean essence. Really been helping me deal with like, I don't know, pregnancy skin problems. I don't know if everyone has this, but like when I got knocked up, like my skin just turned like super red and just constantly covered in stuff. It's sort of just like rosacea, just, so it's, doing makeup is just way harder when you're pregnant for some reason. Okay, so next I usually use a serum and I like vitamin C serum because, I don't know, supposedly it protects you from the sun. I haven't verified any of this scientifically, so this is just hearsay, but probably true. Korean eye cream. Um, and I just use like a tiny little bit. I think it just sort of like, I don't know, keeps you looking fresh and youthful. <laughs> and yeah, then if I have a shoot or something, I use this or ice. Like sometimes I just take ice and put it all over my face. If you're like on tour or something, it kind of helps. Like especially like if you're like tour makeup is weird. Stage makeup is weird. I'm not gonna do st stage makeup because it's like you know. I usually actually just take like a bunch of like white like clown kind of makeup and just go like hardcore. Um, but it, it it can be quite flattering at times. I mean the thing about tour that really messes you up is like. I think just traveling a lot, like flying a lot, you get really dry skin. So then I usually do sunscreen. I really like this weird Japanese sunscreen because uh, it kind of has no texture. All my skincare stuff is something that I started doing the last year. because so I was like, oh shit, I'm 30. Well, I'm actually 31 now. And I was like, better start taking care of myself or I'm gonna like, I don't know. Well, whatever, it's showbiz. <laughs> now this isn't like an everyday thing, but I guess we'll do like more serious makeup. Um, so I usually use primer if I'm gonna do like not daylight makeup. Yeah, I pretty much always do my own makeup, which is not necessarily a good thing because there's like a, a lot of pictures of me looking insane. Um, but I think I'm slowly improving at it. In the everyday kind of thing, I really like this tinted sunscreen, which is like, I mean, I don't really go in the sun anyway. Like I stay up late and get up late and avoid nature at all costs. But like, you know, over sun, too much sunscreen, like you can never really have too much sunscreen, I think. I usually just wear this. Like if I, it's like a regular day, like, or yes, I mean, if I'm not, when I'm not uh, pregnant, I don't need to wear as much makeup because I'm not like all red. So this is like, you know, like chill vibe skin, but then, um, you know, if I'm going a bit harder, I'll usually use like the Fenty stuff because it's pretty hardcore. It's like really thick. And then I like this like super white one. I guess it's maybe a bit, a bit kind of clown, it's sort of goth, you know? Um, and then I like. Uh, I don't usually have long nails, but I have long nails right now just because it's like, I'm not working on music at the moment. Well, actually, that's kind of a lie, but um, I'm not like, I, I don't need to be virtuosic on a guitar at this point in time. So it's sort of like a brief window where I can have luxurious nails because it definitely makes me feel happier. Um, maybe have claws. I really like this. Powder. Again, I got this from a Pony's makeup tutorial. <laughs> this stuff just looks really nice. If you use the tinted moisturizer and then this, it's just like a very kind of clean day-to-day -day kind of vibe. I always like a little bit of chapstick. This lip liner, it's like it's kind of like a it's like a black lip liner, but I was just like. I put it like actually like over, like on the outside of my lips kind of thing. But for some reason this just makes me look like I have like really nice lips, I don't know. If I was stuck with one thing, it's this, it's this lip liner. I wear it every day. I also like to do big eyebrows and I have this weird eyebrow thing. It doesn't go on your skin, it just, it just colors like the hairs. So it's kind of like, 
cool. I used to have like a great unibrow, like fully a unibrow, and I did kind of wreck it in high school because it doesn't really come back anymore, which is sad to me. That was a mistake because I feel like unibrows are super cool now. I don't know. I if I could if I could have it back, I would. Okay, what did I do? Oh yeah, I better go to eyeliner. I, I like these Pat McGrath ones because they sort of like come off throughout the day and then they like come down your eyes. And I, I like, like after I've been wearing this for a few hours, I get this kind of like rock and roll. I don't know, I was this edgy look because I like tears of darkness. Um, so, and I was on a shoot yesterday, so I kind of have stuff in my eyes. Yeah, I definitely like the day after makeup. Like, I definitely, like, I like just smudgy makeup. I like days of makeup. Like, I like the eye, I pretty much don't re remove my eye makeup. I just sort of like let it come off. Um, yeah, so this, I don't know, I kind of like just like, I only, I like, I sort of never do makeup up, up here. I have sort of like a weird round face. So it's like, I like making my eyes like just very intense with this just in here and, and like really in there. And then I just like don't do anything on top. And then I don't usually use mascara because I look kind of dumb with mascara on, but like, I like the blue mascara. I don't know if, if I should do this right now. I'll do one eye. It'll be a creative decision. So yeah, I'll do one eye and then we can see which one looks better, I guess. Yeah, see, it's better without. It's, it's, it's just like Minnie Mouse look. I feel like it's more edgy without it. Yeah, okay, see, so mascara doesn't, some people don't look good in mascara. I'm one of them. I don't usually put stuff under my eyes because I like having bags under my eyes. Like I like, I like looking kind of like scary. So, so sometimes I just sort of like, do kind of, and then I'm like, it's like a scary look. Yeah, see, that's kind of like an edgy. I kind of like how it sort of looks. Demonic. Maybe I'll do it with another eye. I really like the Kardashians makeup. I, I just like the look. I mean, it's like obviously some Neanderthal like thing, like where you just like the big eyes and the lips and the contouring, but it doesn't look good on me, so I can't do it. But I also really like sort of like Bollywood makeup. That's probably my favorite. Like the movie Dev Das, like the girl in the movie Dev Das just has the prettiest makeup because it's just the big eyes. The eyeliner, especially like in here, kind of gives that vibe. And after this, I usually take, uh, this is more like Pat McGrath stuff, but it's, this is kind of like not shiny lipstick, so I just kind of like... It just kind of stains your lips and it sort of makes the lip liner, it sort of makes the lip liner, makes it all look like one thing. I like the, the look of like being pretty, but like ravaged by war, like a character Ava in Metal Gear 3 or something. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Like a bit sort of like pretty, but like, in the game. One last thing I like to do is like take a bit of shiny stuff and I think it might be clashing with the red, but whatever. Picks up the light, looks cool. I I should probably should do looks for albums, but I, I just don't have the, um, like I'm too, I just like to like do it day by day, like look by look, like just vibe creatively. Like I, I'm not good at like choosing a look and, and sticking to it, but I, there is like a, a notable lack of continuity in my look, which, it's arguably a problem, but maybe not. Oh, I also really like just taking glitter. I actually, I don't have it here, but I, I like this stuff called BioGlitz because it's like um, biodegradable. So, you know, there's no kind of repercussions. But I like to put it in my part and then like, I don't know, just dump it on myself really. I, I do a lot of like painting and drawing. And so I like to just kind of like, you know, if I have a show or something, You know, just like sort of draw things on, like, um, let's see. Okay, this this might be crazy. Like if I'm going to a party or something, I just like to like, not look too, oh, uh, see, I, I, I try to like never attach the lines, but. Not look too normal. Yeah, I'll definitely let my kid use makeup. I'll definitely let my kid like dye their hair. Like I remember my parents like wouldn't let me dye my hair, and it was like this. 
and then I slowly bleached it like over over years like I would get like slightly lighter slightly lighter and just pretend my hair was like getting naturally bleached by the sun and my parents were like is your hair getting lighter and I was like I don't know I don't know what you're talking about and then finally they were just like okay you, you're bleaching your hair <laughs> I was like 11 when I started secretly dyeing my hair I, I have no idea what my natural hair color is so recently I burned off like a ton of my hair like my hair was like really long and really nice and like the bottoms had been black because I dyed them black and so I was gonna like I was like okay I'm just gonna do one final bleach and just bleach the bottom of my hair and I'm gonna have beautiful Khaleesi hair and it's gonna be amazing and then like it all like just it burned off like so it was devastating it was like actually so devastating I'm like crying thinking about it but I, I've recently lost, lost a significant amount of hair from bleaching my own hair so um, I finally have decided to start. My friend Chanel dyes my hair now. Yeah, being pregnant is great for your hair. Actually, I've got, had a lot of regrowth. I burned my hair off right before I got pregnant and it's actually, <laughs> I have a lot of regrowth, I don't know. But it's, it's kind of been solving the situation. I'm always a proponent of liquid eyeliner designs. Sometimes I do like two dots here. Oh, those aren't even. But, you know. Or like there or there or like sometimes I do like tears or like if I'm playing a show sometimes I have like goo coming out of my mouth and down my throat or sometimes I draw on a choker that looks kind of cool sometimes I'll just take a big thing of coconut oil, oil and slather my hair in it or just like after I get out of the shower just take oil like do, do it more oil do it more oil do it and then um, and then I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up and then like before I came here I did this last night and then I put on even more I woke up and then did even more oil because my hair is actually literally be like if I didn't put tons of oil in my hair it's it's nightmarishly no one would ever keep hair keep his hair if but I just drench it in oil and it sort of looks normal actually and so you can live with pretty fried hair I'm just adding a tiny bit of color okay this is getting like less into beauty and more into like some weird zone, but lately I've been drawing a lot less because of these nails. I guess these nails are really inhibiting my general life, but oh, that looks cool. It might be it's pretty strong on the forehead, but yeah, see, if you have bleach hair and you pull it back, it's like less crazy. Well, it's still crazy, but it's more a bit more like sci-fi. Yeah, so I guess this is my final look. I'd probably do something with the hair, because I I'd probably do like really tight hair, because to make this look work. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.